Okay, this is the Echo One M4 carbine. I'm gonna run through it. First, I'd like to say that this is one of Echo One's most popular guns, mainly because it's so versatile. It has spots, a bunch of spots for rails and bipods and scopes. This is the collapsible stock version, so the stock moves in and outward to whatever your liking is. It's got about four or five different positions. Adjustable hop-up is in there. Turn the wheel. Um, standard is about maybe, I think it says 340 FPS, which isn't particularly powerful, but it's a good, it's a good beginner's gun. It's easy to use. Um, never jams. I've had this gun for about, I think like eight months now. Hasn't jammed once. Nothing's gone wrong with it. Gears haven't broke. Um, standard mag is about a 300 round mag. This is a high capacity mag. Slides in just like so. Um, since it has a collapsible stock, the battery is forced to be put in running alongside the barrel. So, if you can tell, you can see the wiring system in there for the battery. Um, in fact, I'm, and this is one of the downsides of the battery, of the gun, is putting the battery in. It's a huge pain in the ass to get the battery in. It takes a lot of getting used to. I'm, I mean, I can never even do it right half the time. But I'm going to demonstrate... The nunchucks. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to show them that next. The battery comes with... I'll show you that after I'm done demonstrating the fire rate. Of course, semi-auto. And full auto. Um, not quite as fast of a firing rate as the AK, but very steady fire rate. Very responsive trigger, as in, the second you pull the trigger, that's the second the gun's gonna fire. Okay, back to the batteries. Um, comes with 1100 milliamp battery, just doesn't cut it, especially on this gun. It's hard to fit a big battery in, so that's what they give the mini batteries. Strongly, strongly recommend getting, if you buy this gun, a nunchuck battery. This is a 2700 milliamp battery, 9.6 volts, which is literally about two of those, so you get twice the range and twice the power almost, I'd like to say. I guess a decently long barrel. And one of the best things about this gun is how much you can truly customize it. If you can tell, I have a rail sitting along the bottom foregrip with a laser. I'll shine that into the camera. That's going to be weird, but can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so the laser's in the camera. So there's the laser. Really improves upon your accuracy. Helps me get a lot of kills, especially at night battles. I use, me and my friends love to do night battles. Another thing I'd like to show you about the versatility is that, simple as that, I can install a foregrip. And a lot of guns don't really have that capability with such an easy, accessible rail like that. So now I have a foregrip and a laser, which is a really great setup. Now along the scope, you can literally turn this gun, since it has such a high power. If you really feel like it, I don't really believe in putting a massive scope on an M4, because it's not a sniper, but 